OK, now let's go over some more features especially designed to assist in learning guitar. On the bottom left side of your screen, you will see a cue button. You can use this feature to specify a particular segment of the song that you want to focus on. Press the button once. This allows you to specify the starting point of the segment you want played. Once you set this point, you will notice that button turns orange. Now you can set the end point. Once you set the end point, the button will turn red and the letters CLR will appear on it. After you have set these points, pressing play will cause the specified segment to loop continuously. If you wish to clear the start and end points that you have set, press the button a third time. If you find viewing the grip points and the strings difficult, you can always use our zoom feature. This will increase the grip size to maximum on your screen, making it much easier to view the guitar. Another important tool which needs explaining is the note by note feature. Using your keyboard, you can play the song note by note with maximum control over the tablature. Press the left and right keyboard arrows. Pressing the right arrow will play the next note. Pressing the left arrow will play the preceding one. Press the up and down keyboard arrows. This will move you vertically between the rows of the tablature. In the top of the page, there is a tooltip mode designed to further assist you in using tab and play. Simply hover over the desired function and a short description will pop up on your screen. That's it. Now that we've covered all the main features of tab and play, we hope you'll use it to create and learn the music of your choice and have a great playing experience. Check out our community at our forum, blog and Facebook page for updates, new versions and discussions. Tab and Play, your first online guitar solution.